Hey everyone, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. I'm Anya Sharde. So nice to see you all again. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. It is right there. But this is a celebrity inspired makeup tutorial. You should know that because it should be in the description box. So I saw Tamar Braxton's new video, like I'm sure a million others, because I saw she had like a million views. But anyway, yeah, the video saying if I don't have you, oh, I love her vocals and I love the video and but what Nitty did her thing too and the twins anyway everybody was awesome but I just loved her makeup so I chose to do the first scene so if you haven't seen it by now go out and check go and check the video you should be able to see it because it should be picture flowing up somewhere okay but yes yeah, so this is the first scene that you see her with and yes I love it it's a vampy clip one of my friends right in time okay but if you like to see how i created this look then stay tuned and yes let's get to the video all right let's get started i used my smashbox primer off camera to prime my lid and now i'm just using bh cosmetic 88 neutral palette to warm up my lid and start the process Okay, so I'm going in and starting with the brown color on the lid just to get it started and a great transition color for the color that will be on top. I actually had to use a couple brown colors just to get the right brown that I wanted. And now you can see I'm using another palette to intensify that crease because in the video I saw that it was like a black matte color. So I had to choose another color from another palette. I really love this matte black look. It's like amazing. And the new brush I have is like really helping so much of blending. And I'm not even done yet. I've been wanting to use this peachy color, so I'm so excited. But yes, I'm putting it on the lid. And I'm actually going in. As you will see with another color to put it on top and I really did that a few times I did not show it in this video but I did a few times just to get the color that I felt that she was rocking because it looked like it was like a pinkish red tone in the on a lid so if you see the video you'll see what I'm saying so to intensify this increased look I added some blue from another palette Again, all the products will be in the description box, so make sure you check that out. But yeah, just to make it pop even more. And of course, when you do anything in your crease, sometimes it might go on the lid, so I'm just going back to repeat what I put on my lid to make sure it still pops. As you can see, I went back into another palette just to put in a brown on the outside to really intensify that look and make it even Tamar-like ogre. Okay, so off camera, I did my lashes and my wings. So right now you're just seeing me tight roping my bottom lid. And I'm just going kind of toward the middle, not totally the whole lid. And to really intensify that line and to shadow it out, I added the same black matte that I used for the crease on the bottom lid. And next is my highlighter. <laughs> Gotta use that champagne pop, you know. So I'm putting it in my inner tear eye area and as well as on my eyebrow bone. I love this highlighter, y'all. I love it. All right. 
side, if you see my recent haul, you will have seen that I changed my foundation and I've been using a new one. I love it by the way. And I'm using a new brush. Just, I love this foundation and brush all. It's like amazing. And I love this new concealer that I use to contour. I, I don't know why I never used liquid concealer before for this before. It's like amazing. And of course, to add that Milani glow bronzer on top, it just pops like amazing, y'all. I know I keep saying amazing, but I just. Fabulous. Maybe that's a better word. <laughs> For the lips, as you can see, I'm just using like a plump lip liner just to help for in case of bleeding and to make sure that color is still in there and I can pop even more. I love my concealer, like Elegir, they just outstanding with their concealers, like yes. And I use that for any kind of correction This is the final look. I had to spray my face down with a matte finishing spray. Again, all products will be in the description box. But yes, this is it. This is Tamar Inspired Look from If I Don't Have You video. Make sure you go check it out. And if you're new here, subscribe and thumbs up this video if you really like it.